This is CNEagles.com. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, director of soccer, Richard Moody. Richard, a pair of monumental games on Saturday, both on the men's and women's side. You head to Anderson for the regular season finale. Here's why it's a big weekend. The women playing with Anderson to make it into the tournament. The men have a shot at the conference title. What's it like to be at this stage in the game, uh, trying to make some major improvements for the women and meet one of your goals for the men? Uh, yeah, there's, there's, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of pressure, I think, on, on the kids, but uh, it's, you know, you, you got to love games like this. We're on the road against a, a good team, arguably, on both sides, men and women. Um, I think for the girls, it's, it's, you know, it, it's a reality check, too, because, you know, our, our expectations this year were to make it to the tournament. That was our ultimate goal. But had we, we have two ties that are in our conference uh, results. Had we have won those, we could be hosting a game uh, next week. And, it, and it's crazy to see how close we are. And I think the girls have to realize that. So, you know, it's all or nothing on Saturday for them because if they lose, they're done. There's nothing left. Uh, they have to win this game if they want to keep practicing next week. So, you know, that, that's on them now, whatever they want to do. I'll be here next week if they want to be. So uh, they've got to decide what to do on Saturday. Um, and the boys' side, you know, we're not so worried about winning a conference championship. We're not really concerned. I think... The, the ultimate goal for us was to, to, to see if we could get this team back into the national championship. And right now we're sitting fourth in the region. Uh, and, and I think that's what this game is about to us, you know, because there's a lot that has to happen for the boys to win the conference on Saturday. And I don't, I'm not, we're not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. They're not thinking about it. And uh, the only thing that we're focusing on is Anderson and, and taking care of them. And, you know, I think the, the boys are playing good. We, we struggled against Tuscon to score a goal, but we definitely didn't struggle. I mean, we played good, we just couldn't score. And uh, it took a, a special moment from Cinderella stepping up. And so we'll be uh, almost fully fit going into Saturday, with the exception of two or three. And, uh, you know, no more suspension. So we're, we're excited to get up there and, and get on the field. You bring uh, up the being fully fit. How, just how impressive is it, is it this team, where at times this year you were down half your starting lineup? is in the position that it's in, uh, in the regional rankings with a shot at the national tournament. Yeah, it's crazy. You can't explain it. You know, there's teams out there that are in the same boat as we are, and now their season's uh, kind of uh, gone to waste now because they've lost a lot of starters. You know, we, we've got a lot of players right now that have just stepped up, and uh, y y the team's picked itself because it was the players that were around and they were ready to go, and it is the best team that, that I think that, that we could field right now uh, within our starting 11. I think we look very, very good. Uh, they're playing well. The chemistry is good. Uh, they believe in each other. They work hard for each other. When we went into overtime at Tusculum, uh, the boys at the end of the game were like, you know, we needed that. We needed that reality check and we needed that to wake up. And so they're very, very humble in what they're doing. And uh, you know, they're, it's, it's just a great group of boys to, to be around, and it's, uh, it's, it's contagious right now. They've made winning a habit, and you know, we're on a six game win streak there. And so, but it, it's very important that, that we stay fully fit. You imagine what we could do uh, if we were fully fit. Uh, missing, I mean, right now, missing five, uh, five players that would make a difference, but, but again, we wouldn't have this starting lineup that we would have without these injuries. So it's worked out well for us. We're, we're enjoying it. How above and beyond themselves are some of your players playing? Uh, I don't. I think they're. I think they're just maximizing their potential. I think every one of those players has the ability to play at the level that they're playing at. But then the chemistry between them, uh, they just understand each other. Uh, like the relationship between Nico Knoll and uh, and Ross Frame. Uh, the relationship there were with Collins and Christian Speak in the middle of the park, and then arguably Jake Fielder, Ross Frame, Jake Fielder, Sandra Wello. Like all these boys are, are, are chipping in and uh, we're, they're all playing the part, but they're working well together. And again, it's just, again, it's a good environment. But I don't, you know, to be honest with you, I think that, you know, if you, if you look at players like Jake Fielder, you know, two years ago he's never playing and now he's playing every minute. Uh, he's creating a lot of chances, having some assists, but I think next year he's all these chances he's had will turn into points and they'll turn into assists and goals. And so, you know, I think I think players like that, you know, they're just going to keep getting better and better. Wade Collins as well is just going to keep getting better and better. A very hardworking young man, but uh, no points or anything to show for it. But you know, we couldn't do it without him. So you know, but all these boys, they, this is the level that we signed them up to play at, and, and they're doing exactly what we thought they could. So. On the women's side of the coin, uh, you, you talk about being, are, are you uh, accepting of a 500 
record. That's a major improvement from last season, but no conference tournament. Just how far has this ladies team come with a, a boatload of freshmen and newcomers on the roster? Yeah, uh, I think, I don't know. It's, it's uh, natural tendency as a, uh, as a competitor uh, to always want more and to always want to do better. Um, so I think for the girls, yeah, I mean, Again, the, the example of how do we have turned two ties into wins, we'd be hosting a conference uh, tournament game. But, you know, for us, it's, we have to see improvements. And I think that's important. And uh, the girls are seeing improvements and they're starting to get a little bit of belief. But there's still some ingredients missing. Uh, and I think it's important uh, that, that as a coaching staff and as a team, we, we realize the, what these seniors that have given us, what we'll lose and that we replace it. And then we try and then take it to the next level uh, and, and so that we can compete with these top teams in the conference. And, uh, you know, we, that's what we want to be. We want to be recognized as one of the top teams again in this conference. And, uh, you know, but we've got to be proud of what they've achieved. Um, but I think the monumental moment will be, you know, yeah, we're 6-6-3, we're six, six and three, I think, right now. And I think the monumental moment will be on Saturday, you know, because that could flip everything. Yeah, that puts us at... You know, seven, six, and three, and arguably we can say we've had a winning season. You know, we've we've done what we needed to do. So, uh, but you know, we'll see. I, I'm, I'm, I, we'll we'll see what these girls can do on Saturday. This will really speak. If they can win on Saturday, then then I think it's all been worth it. If not, then you know, arguably we can't really be happy with the season we've had because we didn't achieve our goals. You know, and so the main goal for us is getting in this tournament. So let's see see what these girls can do on Saturday. Moody, pleasure as always. Good luck tomorrow. All right, thanks, man. It's Carson Newman, Director of Soccer, Richard Moody. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is CNEagles.com. You waiting for me to do something? I guess. Can we do the elevator? Push the button.